It'll be that way sometimes. Hmm. I see you discovered my DIY workbench. I don't know. There's no real reason to not. It's important. It's part of the game. Ah, oh, there we go. <clears throat> I see you just. I see you discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for your island life. Hmm. So shall I put you down for the next available session? Yeah. Oh, fuck the asshole. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. I didn't spend much time not doing anything. The uh, the gifts from Nintendo were like a DIY like a workbench recipe and uh, something else that I can't really use. Um, uh, sorry, <coughs> having a drink. Welcome to my mm, welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is. Overselling it a bit. Hmm. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod, thank Christ, using common materials that you can find anywhere yet. For this particular recipe, we'll require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now... Come see me once you've collected the materials. Asshole, I have them. <laughs> ah, you found the necessary materials. Mm, well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go a fuck. You dropped the controller, didn't you? I did. <laughs> like it just straight up fell out of my hand. Go if ahead, give it a... If you would drop anything else, you wouldn't care. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. The, the fact that I had to, like, like, you know... Oh, sorry. Is that not how you do this? Ah, there we go. Craftable. Craft it. Yeah. The flimsy. Slap, slap, crunch, crunch. Smack, smack, dick, dick. Titty, titty. You made a flimsy fishing rod, nigga. That is not a fishing rod. Yes, that was perfect! Oh my fucking goodness! I'm good at this! Hey, look at me go! As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipe. Hmm. That concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh! There's one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Free of charge, naturally, because I'm a fucking raccoon. Like, what the fuck do I need with mine? I just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Is this really life? Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. You're gonna get a bunch of apps for your phone. <laughs> Splendid! Thank you! The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. Fucking A. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. Well, of course, I fucking got the shit to make it and then made it. It may not last forever, but it will serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I am no master or angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. Hmm? And my expertise is my experience. You should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Okay. Shoot, shoot. Yes. I don't necessarily want to craft it. I just want to know. All right, here's my question. Like, so I have a thing that it, like that they gave me. How do I use it? Uh, oh, I learned use it. it in your inventory. I learned it. I got it. Huh? Okay. Sweet. I learned the DIY recipe for simple work DIY workbench. And so let's see what does it take to craft it. A lot of shit you ain't got. Hardwood and I oh, nothing I have. That's what's up. All right, cool. 
I probably should have sold him some of these damn uh, pears, but I didn't. So it's just a matter of like sitting, sitting and waiting for the uh, fish to decide to bite. <sighs> like you'll you'll see the bobber go down. Don't make it like a don't noise. I see the it's one different. fish. It doesn't even look like a fish. It looks like a fucking leech. You said aim in front of the shadow. Like you'll notice the fish. Like oh. There's a thing. I want that thing. You know, like, start nibbling, and or it might just grab immediately. But you'll see. Yeah, that's it. Ah, so. Oh wait, wait, wait. Shit. And the fish has gone away. Well, you you win some, you lose some, but you live. You live to fish another day. So you have to be able to see fish to fish? Yes. Okay. That fish ran away because I, I am a terrible fisherman. Oh, hey. Oh, shoot. So there will be like a specific sound effect that comes along with it. Right. Like again, like it's different from the little nibbles. It's like a very abrupt like yoink and you'll see the bobber go under the water for ah. what it's worth. I got a fish. I caught a fresh water gobby. What the fuck? Time to go bye bye. Time to go bye bye. Yeah, da 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 da. You mind if I come fish with you, sweetheart? Whoa, sweet man. Man, no. You are. <laughs> Like in the wrong, you're just in the wrong direction. Uh, uh, uh. I caught a rock. I caught a stone. It's all mine. Roll. <laughs> What's going on, sweetheart? One day, what, what kind of fish I'm going to meet today? I hope they're nice. Oh, so you ain't really the talking type. You're the hang around and be French type. All right, cool. What's up? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. I can still pick stuff up while I have my fishing rod. Like, that's not the direction I want. There, that's the direction I want to cast in. Like, hey, what the heck? What the heck, you think? There's a balloon with a gift. Huh. That's weird, huh? Not really. <laughs> I. Like, I'm assuming this is like, I don't have what it takes to get it. Because I don't have a slingshot or anything. How would I pop it? You can actually pop it with a uh, net, but you still don't have what it takes to make that happen. It's kind of my favorite. But the game was like, here's a thing. This is a bad place to fish. Yeah, it's not like, it's definitely not on the Minecraft tip where it's like, just throw the fucking thing, in, the line in the water and see what happens. Like, there have to be fish somewhere. Yeah, because there's very specific fish you get from different shadows. Shadows? Chasing shadows? 
Also, depending on if you go fishing in a river or a pond or a, uh, the ocean, you get different fish. You also get different fish depending on the time of day. Mmm, sounds like sex to be had. Ah, oh, this is so much better than Stardew Valley. This doesn't make me sleepy. Good. And it's 2.30 in the morning. I know you like Stardew Valley. And it's the weird thing is I don't dislike Stardew Valley. It's just boring. <laughs> like, I realize there are a lot of people who are like, yeah, I don't understand the point of Minecraft. I was like, the point of Minecraft is you just go do. <laughs> Like it's right, it's like right there. Like I could, I could literally like grab that with the uh, fishing rod if if he would just if he just would. <laughs> um. I'm gonna sell some stuff. Are they chasing me? Are you guys sleepy? What's going on in here? Welcome! How can I help you today? I wanna sell some stuff. Of course, what exactly are you offering me? Do I eat in this game? Yes, but no. Is it beneficial? <laughs> yes, but no. Alright, well... You don't need to eat to exist, is, is that what I'm trying to say? I don't Eating does have a benefit, but that's about it. Okay. Look at all the fine things you brought me today. Allow me to... A moment to run, allow me a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from me for... It's a good god! For a total of uh, 2,990 bills. I want to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. When you eat f food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power and than you might have imagined. Has anyone shared that with you? What I mean is, you could break open a rock or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Now, it's fine for you to sell me your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while, too. Mm hmm. You want... Greedy weeder. Okay. Okay, I only need three thousand more miles. I can't. I can't like trade miles in for a fucking uh. Who's it? For bells. Yeah. Or like vice versa. You can trade your be uh, miles in for bells eventually, but you can't do the opposite. What the fuck? I can make a flimsy net. I can make a net. Why didn't I just make a net? That's a very good question. Why didn't you make a net? I found bugs and things I'd like to catch. Also, it'd be a good idea for you to donate some of those things to uh, Tom Nook. Donate what things? The bugs and fish you're catching. I figured that would be the, uh, so I can donate a fish to Tom. All right. Hello, hello! What would you like to, oh, fuck. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Uh, I found a creature. That's what, I guess, I'm guessing that's the thing, okay. I found a creature. Oh, it's splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? It's an ugly-ass fish. Here you go. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a freshwater goby. Hmm. If this is an if this island can support a freshwater goby, or who knows what other fantastic creatures we may find living here. I have an idea. No friend of mine runs a museum. I'd love to send it, send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? I don't fucking care. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your freshwater goby. Is that a real fish? Oh, that reminds yeah. me. This is no this is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you.
Mm hmm. The Critterpedia. Uh, I think in the Critterpedia app, it's a terrific resource for, for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll, mm, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch at yes. <clears throat> I do hope you'll continue to fill it with your discoveries and share them with me too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward. Hmm. Get away from me, Tom Nook! Piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. let's, let's equip the, the the flimsy uh the flimsy net. Give me that goddamn dragonfly. Yes, I caught a moth, and I had a ball doing it. What? What's the joke there? Moth balls. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. It's late. That's my answer. Because hmm. I came across like some. Uh... Oh, shoot. shoot, 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 shoot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> that is the ugliest thing. I, I caught a zebra turkey fish. Land, oh, yeah. air, <laughs> land, air, water, make up your mind. <laughs> Turkeys can't fly. Haven't you ever heard about bumbles? Bumbles box. I don't know how that's relative to anything, but okay. Look at you, stupid little piece of fish ass. Ass fish. I think you have to donate uh, five things to Tom before he's like, oh yeah, this thing's gonna happen now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, no, that's not at all where we wanted to throw that. That's about where we want to throw it. If he doesn't, like, nibble at it now, he's not gonna. And this is a... Yikes! I caught a loach! It's looking at me with reproach. They didn't have, they didn't have a jump for that one. Yeah, there's a few like that. Okay. I'm running, I'm running. Come here, son of a bitch. So moths are most likely gonna be able to be found around uh lights and such. Yeah, and for the most part that's all you're gonna find, I think, at the moment. As far as bugs are concerned, because again, it's the middle of the night, and depending on the time of day, that's what you'll find. You have to, like, kind of be good at fishing. Like. I mean, adjusting properly is just. I mean, fish will just decide to completely turn the other direction sometimes. It, it's a bitch sometimes. But I will give you that it's still better than Stardew Valley's fishing system. <laughs> what a goldeen! I caught a goldfish. It's worth its weight in fish. <laughs> oh man, I'm tired of this already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this game and it's fuckery already. Give me your, your ass over here. Yes! I caught a hermit crab. I think it wanted to be left alone. You could say that for literally 
any fucking wildlife that you ever come across. Ugh, come on. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on. Gotcha. I caught a loach. And this is going to be with her perch. Um... Okay, you're a big one. You're gonna break my rod, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna break the, uh... Fish! <laughs> Ugh! Damn it, he was interested. Wait. Is it a rock? Is it a rock? No, it's a, a loach. No, it's a dace. Hope I have some space. Oh lord. Oh dear. Okay, so... Let's see if we can, uh... Cause I got some shells. That's how I got all them damn bells. Uh... Oh, excuse me. Cause we ain't built fucking... So let's go sell. Uh, I, I guess we give what we what we haven't, you know, collected. Donate so, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you can only donate one thing. I mean, one time. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, what's going on, man? Hi, right, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Actually, you're not. I found a creature. <laughs> oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? It's a mermaid crab. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a hermit crab. Would you mind if I sent this magnificent creature along with my museum cur curated along to my... T fuck it, you see what it says. Okay. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your hermit crab. Do I get it back? I don't. Oh, by the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? I have. That's great. Fucking hey, man. Come to think of it, I... <laughs> I have seen you tinkering around over there. A bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me. I've been meaning to share some more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? My phone's never off. It's just not out. I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood along with a recipe for crafting an axe. Yes, yes. I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island. Because so many other things are made of wood. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, I hope you're. Uh, fuck, fuck, what is it, Shay? I hope, you be, I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience, Chash. Speaking of fucking witch, my guy. Uh, I found a creature. Oh, another creature. Well, let's have a look at this motherfucker, shall we? It's a moth. <laughs> Ah, that hurt. Oh, my ass. I do believe it. You mind if I... Yes. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, 
By the way, this time I have a proper reward for you. Here's some fucking seeds, you piece of shit. I've given you a rose rose, a red rose bag. Just a little sampling of a product we sell. Go ahead, do some planting. A few after a few days you'll have beautiful blooming flowers. Hey. Oh my god. Anyway, give it a whirl. And if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy some more. I decided to like lean really far away from the microphone. I hope you'll keep bringing me new shit. What the fuck do you want this time, you asshole? <laughs> Gotta keep the game entertaining, folks. Another creature? Well, let's have a look at this. What what the fuck did you find? A goel, a goel fish. What a catch, I do believe it's a goel fish. Would you mind if I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I'll take extra good care of your goel fish. Oh, remember the flower samples I gave you? I forgot to mention something. The flowers that grow will be very strong, okay? They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. But if you have water, but if you water them each day, that's where the magic happens. <laughs> Watering opens up the possibility for pro propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare colors. And how might you water them, you ask? Well, I just sent you a DIY. Okay, this, you can just send it to me without me pulling off the phone? Ass hat. My accountant warned me about giving this sort of thing away for free. But you've collected... You know, Tom Nook has not ever... He, the, you have a bad rep, my guy. Like, all... Everything about you, if left up to people who play Animal Crossing, you come off as a fucking dictator evil motherfucker. But you are just a fat, happy raccoon, man. But you've collected creatures for me, so this is just part of the island give and take. I hope you, I hope you keep bringing me new shit, cause fucking, it's beneficial to both of us. Oh, and you got some goddamn miles, but you don't want to look at that, do you? No, you don't. I found a creature. Another creature. This is a loach. A loach, a dace, a loach, zebra turkey fish. <laughs> this is the ugliest goddamn fish. <laughs> Oh. I literally just run this cat and just can't get there. Hold the phone, someone's calling. Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? Brothers, is that you? Oh, what splendid timing. Yes, yes. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently standing in front of this room. I mean, uh, I'm stationed on a island we decided to call Seaville. Yes, yes. The local fauna are just as abundant as expected. Just as I told you. Uh-huh. How many precisely, you ask? There's no, no way of knowing just yet. I mean, we fucking just got here. Listen to my goddamn story. But I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Mm-hmm. What? Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. It's too late for that, my guy. I'm so sorry to keep... That was my friend Blathers. The one who curates the... I figured that much. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island and help us identify, preserve, and preserve the local creatures. Ah, uh, but I could use your help. Here's a fucking... Sack. <laughs> Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already... Would you be able to help find a spot for black? Ah, oh, okay. We'll need a good sized space, really built. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. What, what, what? Yes, I'm turning all these in now, in the video. Oh, no, I can't turn anything else in? Oh, that's good. Okay, that's how you want to you be. Tom, piece of shit. <laughs> Have a nice DIY. That's 300 more miles, oh my gosh. Gotten used to using your phone. 300 more miles, oh my gosh, oh my. That's it, all right. What did you give me? Herps. 
You gave me herbs. I can make a birdhouse. Great. Oh, oh snap! I can make. I can finally make an axe, and I can make a flimsy watering can. <clears throat> what's, the what's the difference between soft wood and wood? This is weird. Everything. He when says you start chopping trees, you'll know the difference. Mm. Log sticks. Okay. 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 Well, I'm selling shit to this fucker. What are you offering me, you piece of shit? Hey, you had yeah, these fucking roses. This piece of shit gave me. I don't fucking want them. Uh. Look at all the fine things. Let me crunch the numbers. I can buy these for a total of uh, 1,050 bills. Sure, I'll fuck that. Mm okay. Oh, man. So we're gonna place this dude's fucking. I'm gonna place this dude's uh, tent. Like, I wouldn't really want to put the uh, the thing here. Like, I'd much rather, like... This is the place. This is the place where the junkies go. The time gets fast and everything gets slow. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh. Okay. Blab just can set this place up. Alright, cool. So next time you guys see me. Hold on, can I just go in these people's houses? I can. Yeah. That is upsetting. Did y'all get stuff? What y'all got? What you got over here? Got some cookies? Oh, I can turn the radio on. Thanks for coming for Elio. I got my tent all my tent all up and running thanks to that pep talk. The brochure, the brochure said we'd be living on an uninhabited island, so I was ready to go solo. I was all ready to go solo. With what? I could totally go for having rock star. Oh, I'm a rock star now, am I? Okay. I could totally go for having rock stars like you around. The the. Let me know if you need anything. Well, I mean... <laughs> we're here. I was thinking about how to thank you. <laughs> this, is, this is going swimmingly. <laughs> and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Oh, shit. Alright, what's up? So the first thing I thought was when I got here was... Oh, that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of why I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. They do the weeds! <laughs> Think about it. Weeds are the most abundant na natural resource we have. May as well use them. What? What? Alright, that's what's up. I am not the fuel. You, you are, are the, the fuel. fuel. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so that's it for episode 4. Of fucking Animal Crossing, like adventures in Animal Crossing, New Horizon. Um, I am not gonna pretend like I'm like I am enjoying it in a way that I um I expected to enjoy it. I didn't think like I wouldn't enjoy it. If I did think it wouldn't be my bag, I wouldn't have bought it. But um, the thing is uh. The thing is definitely, like, as things go on, I'll have to know. Like, I'll have to, um... But I couldn't see. I was just having to take a while, I guess. Another loach. Yeah. Because I'm really just looking forward to being able to, like, to move beyond... Where I currently am. Oops, That's kind of why I want to try to help you get past that first hurdle. Uh huh. 
because you have to wait another day for your house to be upgraded past that. But I imagine like I'm still just waiting to learn how to build bridges and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, like that's where we are. So yeah. So again, hopefully like you're watching this and you're either into the game and you're like, well, yeah, I'm into it. And so I'm just trying to see how other people play it. Or maybe you were like, I don't, you know, really know. I don't know how you found my videos. Like, the game's been out for like a month now. And like mine, like by the time this comes out. Like, because I'll probably like, these probably going up like soonish. Another loach. Boy, these fuckers are in abundance out here. Alright. Oh, there it is. It broke. Oh, no. That's the end of the line for my trusty, flimsy, uh, fishing rod. And that's a good... What, what happened? Break my first pole. Is that what it is? Trash tools. Using a tool until it breaks is proof of your hard work. In praise of your good deeds, you're getting some nook miles based on how many tools you've broken. <laughs> you broke. The next one. I'm a rascally clown, apparently. <laughs> I gotta break 20 more tools before I get the next one. Ugh, 5,000. I'm not, like, super far, but I got a ways to go. So I can totally make that. Alright. Well, take care, everybody. Catch you in the next one. Till then, we out of here. Peace.